ಪರಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಿ ಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಭೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ರಕ್ಷಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತಿ ಸಹನೌಹುನಕ್ಷು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವತಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಪುರುಷಬಂತಾದಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಮಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತೀಪ So, looking at the 18th Bhashya, I think the Advaita Shada website is down, at least last when I checked for quite a while. So, I have copied the Bhashya from elsewhere. I think we finished till, I think uh, till here somewhere, somewhere in this para. So, Karmani, ಅಕರ್ಮ ಯ ಪಶ್ಯೇತ್ ಕರ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಯ ಪಶ್ಯೇತ್ ಅಕರ್ಮಣಿ ಕರ್ಮಚಯ ಸ ಬುದ್ಧಿಮಾನ್ ಮನುಷ್ಯೇಷು ಸೆಟ್ ಸ ಬುದ್ಧಿಮಾನ್ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಸ ಯುಕ್ತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರ್ಮ ಕೃತ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಸೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅ ವಿವೇಕ್ ಯ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಟಿವ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಯೋಗಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗಿ and krishna karma krit thereby jnana yogi as well leading to that so this is a stuti we have seen that initial stage it is a stuti krishna karma krit samasta karma krit one cannot be without actually uh, having manana siddha shravana shravana the, the whatever is meant whatever is the vision of the shastras after the shravana it should be manana siddha the knowledge should be doubtless and thereby it should be aparoksha so we saw uh, as to how this shloka is is to be interpreted and why bhagwan keeps on repeating this idea again and again through various words the basic idea in the shloka is what the yatharth jnana is against what the mass populace understands people think that i i have karma whereas i the real meaning of i is the pratyagatma which is brahma which cannot have karma and on the other hand one's misunderstanding that i have karma and now i will withdraw from the karma and thereby be free from karma that is also wrong understanding because there one thinks that i had karma and now i don't have karma so when he says i had karma and i don't have karma that time his understanding he is tadatmya sambandha was with the sharira which had karma and therefore the person's misunderstanding is still continuing as to uh, having his identification with the sharira and when once one says that i am going to withdraw from karma there while have no karma there there his understanding even with that identification is wrong wrong because the sharira will always have karma even if you withdraw that withdrawal itself is karma even after withdrawal there is a there is karma all karmas are happening in the body and the person has association there so that that part of the understanding is also wrong and since this is the uh, the understanding of majority of the people bhagwan's words appear contradictory and we saw in the purva paksha that why is it contradictory it is not contradictory what bhagwan is giving is yatharta jnana it appears contradictory because our understanding is is already erroneous so the right knowledge will always appear contradictory to a person who is deluded with wrong knowledge and convinced thereof and that is the case of loka the world of people moving on we saw atracha uh, atracha ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮೈವ ಸತ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕರ್ಣಾಶ್ರಯಂ ಕರ್ಮರಹಿತೆ ಅವಿಕ್ರಿಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಸರ್ವೈ ಅಭ್ಯಸ್ತ ಯತಃ ಪಂಡಿತೋಪಿ 
अहम करोमि इति मन्यते सो दिस इज वेयर वी वेयर इन द लास्ट श्लोक लास्ट पाठ अत्र च कर्म कर्म एव सत बीइंग कर्म इटसेल्फ कर्म बीइंग कर्म इटसेल्फ कार्य करणाश्रयम कर्म रहिते सो कार्य करण कार्य हियर करण सो वेरी वेरी हैव कार्य एंड करण टुगेदर इन इन द समासा देयर करण इज इंद्रिया और अंतकरण and if it is antakkarana what is the karya the karya is the stula sharira so stula sharira and sukshma sharira indriya antakkarana put together sukshma sharira and karya karya stula sharira is also called as karya sharira so atra cha karma karma eva sat karya karana shrayam meaning this karma all or karma is what karma being karma eva sat karya karana shrayam karya karana shrayam sat what is karma really karma is that which has its basis in sharira and antakarana the kar- karma is not taking place anywhere else it is taking place in sharira sula sharira and in uh, sukshma sharira with indriyas in play so karakas and all the karakas are what are are associated are really karya ka, all the karakas are शरीरा, शरीरा जार दी कार का, सो कार्य करण आश्रयम, व्हाट इज़ दी बेसिस और व्हाट इज़ दी डिपेंडेंसी ऑफ़ दी कर्मा ऑन, कर्मा इज़ डिपेंडेंट ऑन कार्य एंड करना, स्तूल एंड सूक्ष्म शरीर, इंद्रिया इत्यादि, एंड व्हाट हैपेंस इज़ दैट दिस कर्मा व्हिच हैज़ इस डिपेंडेंसी ऑन or a shariri who is actually himself a non-sharira, a sharira. So, what we call a shariri, sharira asya stiti shariri. One who has sharira, but really he has no association with sharira either. So, he himself is a sharira. He, he is a sharira and a sharire atmani or shariri, when what we say shariri, by misunderstanding we think that one who has sharira is himself is a sharira. Because there is a tadat me sambandha, but here what happens? Karma rahite, that karma rahite, where the ashraya is, is in the sharira. And karma rahite atmani, in that atma which is without any karma, we superimpose the karma. And what is that karma rahite atma? It is avikriya, it is changeless to be a karaka. Any kind of karaka, whether it is adhikarana or whether it is uh, kartra karaka, some vikriya, some change has to happen in the locus. But avikriya atmani, change is not possible. Sarvaihi adhyastam. Therefore, what one considers oneself as a karta and I am having karma, all this karma is superimposed on atma. What kind of atma? Oneself, which is who. I am really free from all actions, karma rahita and abhikre, all changes. And in on that kind of myself, I am superimposing. Thereby, sarvaihi adhyastham, not only me, this is a general case of the masses, sarvaihi adhyastham. And why sarvaihi is said, sarvaihi, most of, very few, rarely someone does not do that, that person is a jnani. Even a pandita, therefore it says, yatha pandita api aham karomi iti manyate. Because pandita also, even a scholar in all the shastras, he considers that I am doing. In fact, panditas have a lot of ego. That's why if you see someone who is a jnani or even in shastras who has studied a lot and he does not have, he does not have ego ahankara, that person we praise. So panditas also, among panditas also, even a person who does not have his vidya maya, he, he is praiseworthy. Aham karomiti manyate yataha. Since even panditas also, even scholars in shastras, they think that I am doing an action. I am, I am teaching. I am studying. I, I have studied so much. All that is I, 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 ahankara is there. Thereby, this is a very difficult sattva to understand and Bhagwan repeats it. Across chapters, across shlokas, and the same idea keeps on coming in in various ways. Ataha, therefore, Atma Samavetataya Sarvaloka Prasiddhe Karmani, 
नदी कूल स्थेशु इव वृक्षेशु गति प्राति लोमेन अकर्म कर्म भाव यथा भूतम गत्य भाव इव वृक्षेशु यह पश्चेत सो वन हु पश्चेत मीन्स पश्चेत वी सो इन द लास्ट लास्ट पार्ट हा वन कैन सी और वन सो शक्यार्थे विदिलिंग और लटलकार्यार्थे विदिलिंग हियर इज पश्चेति वन हु सीज व्हाट डज यू सी ही सीज गत्य भाव वृक्षेशु गत्य भाव इव गति अभाव वन हु सीज Uh, in the example we saw that when the boat is moving you see the trees which are which have no movement you see those trees on the river bank as having movement in the opposite direction so that gati is seen in this uh, in the in the vriksha similarly gati is seen vikara is seen karma is seen in atma which is without any gati so in the example vrikshesu गत्य भाव इव यह पश्चेत व्हाट कर्मा भाव वन हु सीज अकर्म कर्मणि अकर्म यह पश्चेत मीन्स वन हु सीज एब्सेंस ऑफ कर्म एब्सेंस ऑफ क्रिया एब्सेंस ऑफ गति लाइक इन अ ट्री विच इज ऑन दी बैंक्स ऑफ द रिवर व्हेन यू आर मूविंग ऑन अ बोट सो अत्र सॉरी अतः आत्म समवेतया सर्वोक प्रसिद्धे कर्मणि आत्म समवेतया सर्वोक प्रसिद्धे कर्मणि मीन्स दट कर्म विच इज वेरी वेल नोन इन दी वर्ल्ड एज कर्म विच वेर आत्म समवेतया देर देर इज अ संबंध आत्म संबंध इज देर इन द कर्म इन दी लोक प्रसिद्धि सर्वोक प्रसिद्धि इन दैट कैंड ऑफ कर्म वेर वन सीज वन सेल्फ एज एसोसिएटेड विथ दैट कर्म एंड थिंग्स दैट आई एम डूइंग एन एक्शन और Uh, i have action in that action karma bhavam akarma yah pashyet and what is that nadi kula sthesu iva vrikshesu gati prati lomena one who sees this gati in the in the vrikshas in that uh, which is apparent apparent as having movement in the vriksha which is sitting on the uh, is standing on the banks of the river which is there rooted in the on the banks which cannot have movement in that one sees movement uh, there apparent movement that apparent movement one considers as wrong it is just an appearance it is an abhasa it is mithya jnana and thereby yatha bhutam gatya bhavam iva vrikshesu what is the reality yatha bhuta yatha bhutam is as it is as it is bhutam anatikramy वस्तुस्थिति अनतिक्रम्य व्हाट इज दस्तुस्थिति अनतिक्रम्य व्हाट इज द रियालिटी दैट दी वृक्षा इज चेंजलेस सिमिलरली आत्मा इज चेंजलेस इट के नॉट हैव गति इट के नॉट हैव क्रिया इट के नॉट हैव कर्म यह पश्चेत एंड ऑन दी फ्लिप साइड अकर्मणी च कार्य करण व्यापारोपर में कर्मवत आत्मनी अध्यारोपित तूष्णी अकुर्वन सुखम आसे अहंकाराभिसंधि हेतु तस्मिन अकर्मणी चर्म यह पश्चे एंड ऑन दी फ्लिप साइड वन हु सीज कर्म इन अकर्म व्हाट कैंड ऑफ अकर्म वेर वन विड्रॉस अकर्मणी मीन्स इन इन अकर्म कार्य करण व्यापारोपर में विच इज डिफाइंड इन दी वर्ल्ड सर्वोक प्रसिद्ध है वैट इज ऑल्सो दैट ऑल्सो हेज सर्वोक प्रसिद्धि अकर्मणी सो वी कैन ब्रिंग एन अनुवृत्ति ऑफ द सर्वोक प्रसिद्धि अकर्मणी विच इज वॉट कार्य करण व्यापार उपरमा मात्र इट इज जस्ट सेशन ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन ऑफ स्थूल एंड सूक्ष्म शरीर दैट इज ऑल इट इज इन दैट कर्मवत आत्मनी अध्यारोपित हु सीज कर्म वाई डज वन सी कर्म कर्मवत आत्मनी अध्यारोपित इट इज अरियर इट वॉज सुपर इम्पोज ऑन दी on one self and it continues to be superimposed and that is why one wants to remove it you don't need to remove what is not there atma does not have karma where is the question of removing that where is the question of atma ceasing action because atma does not have action so when one says that i uh, atmani karmavat atmani adharvat tushnim akurvan sukham ase i will just Ease it out. I'll ease it out. I'll not do anything. I'll sit silent without any activity, 
that is a superimposition because as much as the action that you are doing, you were doing is a superimposition, similarly the withdrawal is also superimposition because you think ahankara visandhi he tutvat, you think that I was, uh, I was troubled, now I am eased. Both are errors, therefore ahankara avisandhi he tutvat, because of ahankara avisandhi, because of association with tadatme sambandha, you think that whatever activity is being done by both the shariras is done by me. And due to that reason, tasmin akarmani cha karma ya pashed, once he sees that when I cease from action, I am not ceasing. Only sharira is ceasing and sharira cannot cease from all action, it will continue to have action. Therefore, akarmani cha karma ya pashed, yaha evam karma karma vibhagajna in both ways whether akarmani karma or karmani karma as said earlier yaha one who evam karma karma vibhagajna karma karmanascha akarmanascha vibhagam janati iti karma karma vibhagajna one who knows the division of karma and akarma who knows what is karma what is akarma and he knows how atma is not associated and sharira even when not doing is associated so he saha buddhiman panditaha manushyeshu so buddhiman is one who has buddhi in uh, not only in a good proportion but he is using it where it is to be used panditaha manushyeshu among the human beings saha yuktaha yukta means yogi yogi karma yogi here and krishna karma kritya saha Ashubhat mokshita krita krityo bhavati tiyarta. What is Krishna karma here? Krita krityo bhavati. He becomes krita krityo. He becomes very well satisfied as everything that has to be done has been done because sa ashubhat mokshita. He brings in the anurutti from another shloka which is the end result. What is the phala of this? Phala is ashubhat mokshita bhavati which is what Bhagawan has done pratijnya of. He says that I will teach you Knowing which you will be free from uh, moksha se, shubhat moksha se, meaning krita krita bhavati, krita krita bhavati ityartha, the third person. Ayam shloka ha, now this is the uh, refutation, it is a, so he is given the explanation of the shloka, he has taken an objection and refuted the objection. Now Bhagavan Bhashyakara is taking another way to interpret this shloka which we have seen, vrittikara, vrittikara. Uh, interprets the shloka. Vrittikara we have seen elsewhere where karma and akarma both are put together by him. Uh, not karma and akarma, sorry. Uh, karma and jnana who uh, thinks that some, who is a samuchya vadi. So same vrittikara, he has already written bhashya on uh, this uh, before. So he has preceded bhashyakara in time. So by him, how it is written? By vrittikara and those who follow him. Ayam shloka ha anyatha vyakhyatha kaishchita. By some people, this shloka has been interpreted differently. They comment differently on this. What is that? Katham. So Katham should have a question. Katham. How is it so? Nityanam kila karma naam ishwara arthe anushtiyamana naam tathala bhavat akarmani tani akarmani tani uchyante. Gaunya vritya. So what is he saying? What is their interpretation? He is saying what is the, their interpretation? Nityanam kila karma naam the karmas which are nitya karma, only those karmas which are nitya karmas, when they are offered unto the Lord, Ishwara Arthya Anushtiya Mana, they are practiced, those karmas which are practiced for the purpose of the Lord, since they are prescribed by the Lord, that's why I am doing it for the Lord, Ishwara Arpana Artham, Ishwara Arthya means to, as an offering unto the Lord, Tat Phala Bhavat and they, these karmas which are nitya karmas, when offered to the Lord, they are, they are to be done as an offering to Lord. They themselves do not have any results. Therefore, tat phala bhavat akarmani tani uchyanti. Tani akarmani uchyanti. Why? They are called as akarma. Karma, nitya karma are called as akarma. Why? Tat phala bhavat because they not, do not have phala. So, if a karma does not have any result, then why should it be called as karma? Because karma and phala sambandha has to be there. If karma is not giving any result, they say that it cannot be called as karma. Gaunya vritya, it is uh, a karma. Gaunya vritya means in a secondary sense, in a figurative sense, 
they are called as akarma. Karma cannot be akarma, but they are called akarma. Why? Because phala is not there. So why should you call it karma? Karma means I do an action. Anybody does an action for the result. If there is no result, why should it be? Why, sh why would anyone do it? But this is prescribed there for one does it, but it cannot be called as karma because it is having no result. This is his interpretation of the first part, uh, of one part. Tesham cha akarnam akarma tachya pratyavaya phalatva karma uchyate. However, akarma is called as karma. Why? So, akarmani karma yah pashyat means what? Tesham cha akarnam. If you do not do this nitya karma, however, thinking that there is no phala, why should I do it? If you avoid the nitya karma, due to whatever reasons, today people avoid it because no time. There is no time, why should I do Sandhya Vandana? How can I do Sandhya Vandana? Not why should, why should is uh, another question. That is a different category. Uh, there is a justification even for uh, uh, not having time. So, tesham cha akaranam, tesham cha means tesham nityanam karmanam cha akaranam, not doing the nitya karma prescribed to your varnashrama, that is akarma and that akarma tachya pratyavaya phalatvat, but that has a result, not doing the karma has a result, whereas in the earlier case, doing the karma had no result, if you do nitya karma, no result will come to you, but if, if you do uh, if you if you do not do nitya karma, pratyavaya dosha will come to you. Pratyavaya phala is pratyavaya dosha. So that kind of phala will come to you. Pratyavaya phalatvat, akarma, karma uchyate. Therefore, akarmani karma yapashyat means that akarma you should see as karma, not doing nitya karma since it gives pratyavaya phala, pratyavaya dosha rupa phala, you should consider it as karma. Again, gaunyaya vrutya. This is Gauna Vritti, this is also Gauna Vritti. Secondary sense. So, this entire shloka is a secondary sense of Nitya Karma. Nitya Karma is called as, uh, Nitya Karma is called as Akarma because it has no result and if you do not do it, then it gives Pratyaya Phala, therefore it is Karma. Not doing is Karma if, since it gives Pratyaya Dusha. So, this is their interpretation. Te tatra nithya karmani akarmaya pashyet. So, nithya karmani akarmaya pashyet because it is a karma. Phala bhavat, pashyet phala bhavat, yatha dhenu rapi gauhu agauhu ityuchyate. Just like a cow is a non-cow. You don't call it, it is not a cow at all. Why? So, uh, an example which people can relate to. Uh, so, if cow is considered, the cattle is considered as wealth in the, in the classical setup. Uh, nowadays not true even in the village side, but Dhenurapi, that's why Godana is very famous. Why Godana is famous in the Shastra? Because it is wealth. Of course, it is considered as wealth because Shastra says uh, that it is Godana should be done. It gives you a lot of Punya. So, people ha have a lot of cow and the wealth is measured by cow cattle. Cattle is one of the things. Children are other. So, not only Dhana, but even children, the size of the family as in how many children a person has, cattle, how much cattle does one, one has, all these are con were considered as well. So, dhenu a cow, among them, a cow which gives milk. So, dhenu rapi gauhu, even if it is a, uh, the cow which agauhu, it is called as agauhu, why? If you chate khirakyam phalam na prayachati iti tadvata, just when, just like, a cow which does not give any milk is called as though a non-cow. Similarly, this is also kar, uh, this karma. Since it does not give any phala, nitya karma is called as a karma. Tatha nitya karane tu akarmani. So, if, uh, I am sure this uh, example is clear to all. Otherwise, even there are a lot of uh, other views also, you know. Uh, parents say that the, the son is useless does not do any his, any of his duties towards the parents, so he is not, not like, he is not like a son, any child, not, not necessarily son, a daughter, whatever. So, a child is, is not considered as, as a child if he does not deliver his duties towards his parents. Similarly, this is also phala bhava akarma uchyate, tatha nitya karane tu akarmani cha karma yapashet, in the 
nitya karne means nitya karvanam akarne. Once you, uh, in, in, the, uh, in the absence of nitya karma, one who sees karma, why? Narakadi pratyavaya phalam prachati iti, since it leads to Naraka Ityadi. Naraka is Dukkha Rupa, need not necessarily be the Naraka itself, but Naraka is Dukkha Rupa. Therefore, not doing a karma which is leading to a result is to be seen as karma. So, this is the Vrittikara's explanation that Bhagavan Bhashyakara has given. This is how they interpret it. So, what is their explanation? It is Gauna Vritti. It is in a second figurative sense. This is what has been said in this shloka 18th. Naitad yuktam vyakhyanam. Bhagavan Bhashyakara says this is not the right way to interpret this shloka. Why so? Just because uh, an Advaitin says so, it does not become so. So you have to explain why. I think it is right. Because people have a very, uh, it's a logical perspective. You cannot deny. See, look at this, this perspective. If you uh, just look at the logic which has been used, it doesn't appear to be wrong. It could be secondary sense. If it is figurative, it could be. Why not? But then you have to look at the perspective, the vision of the Shastras. And in the Gita itself, you will see what is being taught in the context. Does it fit that kind of a meaning if you bring in what use it is, it is having, what utility? It should not contradict the Shastras. And it should have a purpose in interpreting in this way. You should have some benefit. And no other interpretation should be possible, which makes more sense. So all this has to be kept in mind, which is the vision of Bhagavan Vashyakara. So you look at the beauty of the refutation now. He says, Na etat vyakhyanam yuktam. <coughs> this kind of an interpretation is not proper. It is incorrect. Why? It is illogical in fact. It may appear logical if you take the shloka by itself. You know, just like an open interpretation, you can say whatever you like, but it should be logical, you can do it. But you put together in that 4.18 place, you put it in the Gita and then you see whether it makes sense. Evam jnana ashubhat moksha anubapatte he. First reason he says that the pratijna was taken that I will teach you what is karma. What is a karma? What is there to know? What is there to know? What is the question raised there? If you think that there is nothing to know, everyone knows what is karma, no. Pandito api mohitaha. So, there is kavaya, kavaya api mohitaha. He had said that asmin vishaye, karmani vishaye. And therefore, he says that I will teach you what is to be known? Karma. Karmana api bodhavyam. Vikarmana api bodhavyam. And akarmana api bodhavyam. You should know what is karma, vikarma and akarma. All three you have to know. And Yajnyatva moksha se shubhat. That is a pratidnya. There is a phala to knowing what is karma, what is a karma and what is a karma. What is a phala? Ashubhat moksha. Now he says that if you, if we take what has been taught as a main teaching in this chapter related to karma, if you take this teaching, what have you learned? You have learned that nitya karma has no phala and not doing Nitya Karma has Pratyavaya Phala. Did you not know before? You already knew it. Every Karma Kandi knows that Nitya Karma has no Phala and not doing it leads to Pratyavaya. Nothing new has been taught here. Let's say he has taught something which you already know. But Evam Jnanat Ashuhat Moksha Bhavati Vahana Bhavati Vah. It is not possible. Anupapatti. You will, you get no... Does everyone who does Nitya Karma does, no, not does. Jnanat, evam Jnanat Ashubhat Moksha Anubapatte He. It is not possible to get Moksha from Ashubha, meaning Papa, just by knowing that Nitya Karma uh, has no Phala and avoiding Nitya Karma has Pratyavaya Phala. So it is, therefore, Karma is a Karma, Karma is Karma. That Jnana will lead you nowhere. You have to follow it. So, yajnyatva moksha se shubhatiti bhagavata uktam vachanam badhyet. It, it negates, it contradicts, not negates, it contradicts the teaching of Bhagavan and his pratijna it is contradicting if you interpret it this way. Therefore, it is wrong. Katham, how is it? How so? Katham. 
अदरवाइज वी इफ यू रीड अ सेंटेंस इट विल बी एक्जैक्टली अपोज कथम नित्यानाम अनुष्ठानात अशुभात स्यात नाम मोक्षणम नॉट दैट वे कथम इज अ सेपरेट क्वेश्चन कथम हाउ सो हाउ इज इट दैट वृत्तिकार इंटरप्रिटेशन इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टिंग ही एक्सपांड्स दैट फर्दर इट इज नित्यानाम अनुष्ठानात नित्यानाम कर्मनाम अनुष्ठानात बाय द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ नित्य कर्म अशुभात स्यात नाम मोक्षणम देर इज There is freedom from papa, all right, but you have to follow. Natu tesham phala bhava jnana. Not from knowing that it has no phala, will you get moksha from dukkha or papa. Dukkha rupa papa basically. So nityanam anusthana, from the practice you get, get uh, moksha from ashubha. Not moksha as in complete moksha, but from papa karma you are freed. प्राप कर्म मीन्स कर्म इज फला देर पाप कर्म मीन्स पाप फला मोक्षा भवती एव बट अनुष्ठानात नित्यानाम अनुष्ठानात इफ यू डू युअर नित्य कर्म देन यू विल हैव लेस दुख अ पर्सन मे हैव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ दुख बट कंपेर टू वॉट यू वुड अदरवाइज हैव इफ वन गिव द नित्य कर्म देन द प्रारब्ध विच इज रेक्टिफाइंग विल बी निगेटेड विल बी ब्लॉक्ड बाय और बाय दी नित्य कर्म प्रैक्टिस नॉट बाय knowledge of its having no result that will give you nothing nahi nitya in fact that will lead you that might lead you to not performing why should i do it then you tell anyone that okay you do this what will i get he say you will get nothing you will not get nothing will he do it not so so nahi nityanam karma nahi nityanam phala bhava jnanam ashubha mukti phalatvena choditam It has not been taught. It has not been taught. It has not been prescribed that nityanam phala bhava jnanam ashuva mukti phala will give ashuva mukti phala. So it has not been taught nowhere. No shastra says that you know that nitya will have nitya karma will have no phala and that will give you sukha. That will give you freedom from dukkha. It is not taught anywhere. Nitya karma jnanam va and uh, so. फला भाव ज्ञानम और नित्य कर्म ज्ञानम बोथ वॉट इज नित्य कर्म एंड इट हैज नो फला दिस इज नॉट बीन टॉट एंड न च भगवता एव इह उत्तम एंड नो वेर इन दी फोर फोर चैप्टर्स विच आर गोइंग ऑन और द रेस्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर्स इवन इन दीन चैप्टर्स एंटायर एटीन चैप्टर्स ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट टॉट हियर दिस कैंड ऑफ अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अकर्मणि कर्मदर्शनम प्रत्युक्तम सो इट हैज बीन आंसर्ड रिफ्यूटेड एक्चुअली व्हाट हैज बीन सेड एन अकर्मणि कर्मदर्शनम सीइंग नित्य कर्म एज अकर्मणि कर्मदर्शनम सीइंग प्रत्युक्तम इट हैज बीन आंसर्ड व्हाट हैज बीन आंसर्ड इन अकर्मा सीइंग कर्म सो हियर इन फैक्ट आई थिंक फॉलोइंग वन विथ फॉलोइंग वन हिज टेकिंग दी रेस्ट ऑफ दी पार्ट सो एन अकर्मणि कर्मदर्शन प्रत्युक्तम वॉट हैज बीन एंसर्ड एक्चुअली इन दी श्लोक ही सेंग न ही अकर्मणि कर्म दर्शन कर्तव्यतया यह चोद्य नित्य से तो कर्तव्यता मात्र न ही अकर्मणि कर्म दर्शन सींग कर्म इन अकर्म द फ्लिप साइड कर्तव्यतया यह चोद्य नॉर इज इट टॉट हियर प्रिस्क्राइब हियर दैट यू हैव to see darshanam kart pashyet so pashyet is not a is not a vidhiling in the sense it is uh, the way you say that the uh, vidhiling is a vidhi it is a vidhi talk so uh, choditam means it's a vidhi so he is saying nahi nahi nityanam phala bhava jnanam uh, not sorry nahi akarmani karma iti darshanam so akarmani karma iti darshanam nahi चोद्यते इह इट हैज नॉट बीन टॉट हियर एज टू सी सी कर्म इन अ कर्म दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट बीन टॉट हियर इट इज सेट दैट वन हु सीज इट इज इज अज अ योगी योगी इत्यादि ही इज अज अ बुद्धिमान एंड योगी इत्यादि नाउ यू आर सेइंग दैट इट इज इट इज प्रिस्क्राइब हियर यू शुड डू इट कीप ऑन डूइंग इट नित्य से तो कर्तव्यता मात्र बट एक्चुअली नित्य कर्म वॉट यू आर सींग नित्य कर्म इज टू बी डन दर्शन इज नॉट टू बी डन यू हैव टू डू दी कर्म विच इज ऑलरेडी सेड अर्यर 
So he said, Kartavyata Matram. It is only you have to do it. In fact, you should not ask why. Why? Because Nitya Kartavyata Matram is that is Choditam. Nitya Karma, Nitya Karma Choditam. Natu Akarmani Karma Iti Darshanam. Seeing karma in inaction, uh, in, uh, action in inaction or inaction in action is not uh, is not prescribed as a duty to be done, kartavyata. But nitya karma is kartavyata. There is a kartavyata for nitya seva kartavyata, natu darshanasya. That is the meaning here. A karmani karma darshanasya va, uh, karmani a karma darshanasya va, kartavyata nasti. It is not, uh, it is not uh, prescribed. There is no injunction like that. But kartavyata is the nitya karma. Nacha akarnat nityasya pratyavayo bhavati iti vidyanat kinchit phalam syat. So in the flip side also, if you know that, if you avoid the nitya karma, you don't do it, you will get pratyavaya dosha. That knowledge also does not give any phala. Kinchit phalam na syat. Na api nitya karana niyat pene choditam. Now, nitya karma also is not taught as to be known. Forget seeing karma in a karma. He says Nitya Karma is also not taught here as to be known. Out of context, this is not a context at all. It is not the uh, what Karma Kanda does is not being done in Gita here. And Napi Nitya Karma Niyatvena Choritam, not only here, elsewhere also. Nitya Karma uh, is not being taught as to be known, something to be known. Napi na, na Karma Akarma Iti Mithya Darshana. Now, what he is saying is that. The interpretation that you have made is Mithya Darshana. You are saying that a karma sh should be seen as karma and karma should be seen as a karma. That is Mithya Darshana. So even if you think uh, by Abhu Vada that if even if hypothesis we accept that it is being taught as per you, if it is taught then that kind of a mithya, it is, will be a Mithya Darshana because you are saying that Karma is a karma, karma is karma. You see it, that's what Bhagavan Krishna is teaching. In that case, na pi karma a karma iti mithya darshana. To see, see if with this false knowledge, through this false knowledge that karma is a karma and a karma is karma, ashubhat mokshanam nasyat. Na pi karma a karma iti mithya darshanat, ashubhat mokshanam, buddhimatvam, yuktata. Krishna karma kartwadi chaphalam upapadyate stutirva. It is not possible to from mithya darshana, like what? Karma is a karma, a karma is karma. From that, ashubhat moksha will not happen. From mithya darshana, there, in fact, mithya darshana itself is ashubha. How can ashubha lead to uh, ashubha moksha? It is coming up. So you say mithya darshana, ashubha moksha will not happen. One phala is not, not possible, which Bhagavan has done pratijnya of. Buddhimattam is not possible because uh, who is a buddhiman who has yatharta darshana, not one who has mithya darshana. One who has mithya darshana cannot be called as buddhiman. So buddhimattam is also not possible. Yuktata, he cannot be called as yogi. How is it that you see karma as a karma, a karma as karma, as mithya darshana, gaunavritti, that will give you uh, the status of being a yogi. That is not yoga. Nowhere is it described that this is yoga. Samattam yoga uchyate. What is this new kind of yoga that you will teach? Mithya darshana is yoga. There is no such uh, teaching that Mithya darshanam, karma, karmani akarma, uh, meaning Mithya darshani, you know, yaha pashyati sa yogi bhavati. Nowhere or that is called as yoga. Mithya darshanam yoga is not taught. That is wrong. Krishna karma kritvadi, how, how is that possible? How can he be Krishna karma krit? You have Mithya Darshana, you are more deluded, you are more confused. How can you be called as Krishna Karma Krut? Not possible. No phala is possible as per your interpretation. So, phalam upapadyate stutirva. Is it a praise? No, you cannot, it cannot be a praise also. We are saying it is a praise for Krishna Karma Krut. So, if you think it's a praise in your case, not possible. Praise is also not possible. Because at least we can say it is praise. That uh, so that he uh, starts uh, for his journey on uh, on knowledge on the path of jnana and thereby ashubhat mokshanam will happen. Thereby initially we praise so that whatever is praised one follows. 
But in your case, Mithya Jnana cannot be a place. You follow Mithya Jnana, what phala will you get? He will not get Ashubha Moksha. He will not get uh, Buddhi Matta. He will not get Yuktata. He will not become Krishna Karma Krut. Then it is useless to give that kind of a praise. So in all cases, you are wrong. Mithya Jnanam he... Uh, mithya jnanam eva hi sakshad ashubha rupam. Mithya jnana itself is ashubha. How will it lead to ashubha mokshana? Kotaha anyasmad ashubhat mokshanam. How is it possible that this kind of an ashubha, mithya jnana, will lead to moksha from ashubha? One ashubha cannot uh, relieve you from another ashubha. Nahi tamas tamaso nivartakam bhavati. Darkness cannot... You, relieve you from darkness. It, it, it cannot be, darkness cannot be a remover of darkness. So it cannot relieve you. you. It has to be something which is opposing it and only Jnana can take away Jnana. So Mithya Darshana cannot go away by Mithya Darshana. Ityartha. Now the Vrittikara is responding. Nanu Karmani yat Akarma Darshanam Akarmani va Karma Darshanam Natad Mithya Jnanam He says that why are you interpreting as Mithya Jnanam? I am not saying it as Mithya Jnanam. I am not saying that Bhagavan is teaching, teaching Mithya Jnana. I am saying that he is teaching uh, karma should be seen as a karma. A karma should be seen as karma but not a Mithya Jnana. It is not false knowledge. What is it? Kim Tarhi? Gaudam. He said it is secondary. Figurative it is. So it is not Mithya Jnana. Figurative. Why? Phala Bhava Abhava Nimittam Na karma karma vidyanad api gaunat phalasya shravanat. So, uh, answer is given. So, so far is this is the, this is the objection or this is the uh, counter by the Puro Pakshi to calling his interpretation as Mithya Jana. He said it is not Mithya Jana, it is gauna. Why? Phala bhava abhava nimittam. Based on, so nimittam here is based on. Based on what? Phala bhava, phala bhava and phala bhava. Just by, if you consider phala, does it give phala or does it not give phala? Based on that, we will call it karma or akarma. So, it, that is the second day interpretation. Karma is karma, akarma is akarma. I also know that. But he says, if you interpret from the basis, definition is what? That which has phala is karma, that which does not have phala is akarma. If you take that basis of gaunavritti, secondary interpretation, not by vipyatti artha or not by the way people know. You take just the phala perspective. Phala. Is there phala? Then it is karma. If there is no phala, there is no karma. This is the gauna vritti and that is not mithya jnana. So I am saying gaunam na to mithya jnanam. Bhagavan Bhashyakara responds to this by saying na, not so. It is mithya jnanam. It is that gauna vritti is useless. Why? Karma karma vijnana dapi gaunat phalasya shravanat. Even if you call it gauna, that cannot give you uh, phala. This, the way you are saying phala is there or not there, that will uh, define what is karma, what is not karma. Now you tell me whether this gauna knowledge will have phala or not. How can gauna knowledge have phala? He says karma, karma, vidyana, dapi. Even if you know what is karma, what is akarma, the way you know. That gauna knowledge also cannot give you phala because ashravana, no shruti talks about it. It is unheard of that gauna jnana of karma and akarma will give you any result. Forget ashubha moksham, any result. It will give you no result at all. Napi shrutyani ashrutap parikalpanayam kashchit vishesh upalabhyate. So let it not be heard in shruti. I am telling you it is possible if you argue in that manner. Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, Napi. Shrutahani Ashruta Parikalpanayam Satyam Sati Saptami When Shrutihani is done, meaning Shruti, what it says, you contradict that and you have your own imagination. Shruta Parikalpana, you have your own imagination of what should be said by Shruti. You set aside the Shruti and you say, say that I will make my own mantras. That kind of an idea. My mantras means you say that I will act on my own, I will interpret shastras on my own and I think it is possible even if it is not said, it should be. This is what you are thinking. It should be said. So, Shrutahani Ashruta Parikalpanayam Satyam Kashchit Vishesha Na Upalabhyate There is no particular result which will come. See, mantra has shakti. 
the vidhi if something is uh, is prescribed then you follow that as per the shruti you will get result ishwara is karma phala data based on karma as prescribed to you and of course laukik karma that's a different matter vaidik karma or the way you do is to be in line with shruti only then you will have a good result otherwise who will give you result based on what vaidika prayoga will there be a result because you have done shruta hani ashruta parikalpana you have imagined that i will instead of offering uh, as an example instead of offering ghee i'll offer kerosene why both are fuel so ashruta parikalpana will give you nothing it will give you papa of course but punya phala the you, you, i have offered everything it is said and i have offered therefore i should get nobody there to give you result to that kind of a karma there is no one existing who who will give you that kind of a result so shruta vishesha upan na upalabhyate so similarly here also uh, by this moksha from uh, ashubha will not happen that is the phala here you cannot do whatever you like and with that this jnana also i will get phala you will not get so kashchit vishesha na upalabhyate it cannot be attained स्वशब्देन अभी शक्य वक्त नव ही से इन केस भगवान कृष्ण इंटेंडेड टू से दिस ही कुड हैव सेड इट डायरेक्टली व्हाट कुड ही हैव सेड स्वशब्देन बाय बाय डायरेक्ट और बाय बाय वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड वर्ड्स ही कुड हैव सेड नित्य कर्मणाम फलम नास्ति अकर्णाश्च तेषां नरकपात स्यात् इति ही कुड हैव सेड दैट नित्य कर्मणाम फलम नास्ति नित्य कर्म हैज नो फला दिस इज द ज्ञाना now you know the you have the nyana akarna tesham so tesham nitya karma nam akarna not doing this nitya karma what will you get naraka pataha there will be fall into naraka so it he he could have said this directly if he meant that why would he put a convoluted verse you know this uh, karmani akarma akarmani karma yah pashya all this uh, you know all this confusing words need not be put by bhagwan unless that is the only way it can be done so he says naraka uh, this kiti tatra vyajena paravyamoha rupena karmani akarma yah pashyet ityadina kim tatra evam vyachakshanena bhagavata uktam vakyam loka vyamohartam iti vyaktam kalpitam syat so if you interpret if you still insist and you interpret in this manner that bhagwan instead of saying that in straight forward words he used this convoluted way then what will happen tatra vyajena in this kind of a <coughs> very complicated manner in which he has put it paravyamoha rupena what will happen par which confuse others in that kind of a uh, difficult to understand words phrases he has put it that is what will you will have uh, conclude uh, that is what you will have said by this kind of an interpretation that bhagwan wanted to confuse others and therefore he used these involved words uh, what kind of words karmani akarma yah pashya ityadina and through these kim tatra evam vyachakshanena bhagavata uktam vakyam loka vyamohartam iti vyaktam kalpitam syat and how he has presented it it would uh, it would amount to saying if you interpret in this manner Uh, that gaunavritti was there and still he did not use the straight forward language then what it would amount to mean is that you are interpreting this as bhagwan wanted to confuse bhagavata uktam vakyam loka vyamohartham it was for the purpose of confusing the people and vyachakshane means evam evam uh, evam tvaya even tvaya vyachakshanena this vyachakshanena bhagavata is not in samana adhikaranam vyachakshanena is by one who is interpreting in this manner who is you tvaya vyachakshanena by you who is interpreting in this manner uh, it's a uh, shanajanta vyachakshanena bhagavata uktam who is interpreting this as what how by bhagwan this statement or this verse has been artham is for what purpose loka vyamohartham it is to confuse the people for that purpose bhagwan has put it this vyaktam kalpitam syat this is how it, it will become manifest this is how your your interpretation of the verse uh, puts forth this idea it reveals that this is the this is your imagination as bhagwan it reveals that bhagwan is 
trying to confuse people. Nache etat chadma rupena vakyena rakshaniyam vastu napi shabdantarana puna punaha uchamanam subodam syat. And what does he say? And this, this topic that you have uh, brought in here out of context, which is what? Nitya karma. Nitya karma is without any result and uh, not doing Nitya karma has a result. That kind of a uh, thing is not something which is hidden. It is not a secret. Atma does not have any karma and withdrawing from any action will still leave you with karma. That is a secret unknown to people. This is what Bhagavan is teaching. And a secret is, although uh, it is taught, still it remains a secret. That's why it is a best kept secret. We have seen that earlier. Especially whatever is related to Atma. Nothing is related to Atma. That is the Vishesha there. So, this is also not something which has to be said in such a complicated manner that it is a secret. So, I'll not let it, let me not tell it in a straightforward manner, otherwise everyone will be, uh, will know. So, Chadma Rupa, that Chadma Rupa interpretation, Chadma Rupa Vakya is not needed. That complicated style of presenting it, which appears contradictory on face value, why? Because somebody has to dig into it, only Buddhiman will understand, only when taught one will understand. That kind of a thing is needed when something is to be kept as a secret. This is an, this is not a secret. Not even an open secret. Everyone knows it. This is taught for uh, to a brahmachari that you have to do your nitya karma. Otherwise, you will get pratyavaya dosha. And nitya karma is prescribed to you. You have to do it. It does not have any result. Every kid knows it. With upanayana it is taught. So, chadma rupena vakyena rakshaniyam kimapi nasti atra. There is nothing to be protected here and kept a secret to give in complicated words. Rakshaniyam vastu nasti napi shabnam tarena puna puna uchyamanam subodham syat. And it is not that it has to be repeated so many times that uh, one will not understand. It is a simple thing. Nitya karma does not have any phala and if you don't do it, you will get pratyavaya dosha. But you have to do it because it is prescribed for your varanasana. Simple statement. Nothing more to be inquired into. If you have shraddha, you will do it. So it is not that it will, one will understand only when it is repeated again and again. Ityam Vaktum Yuktam. So, it is not possible to say in give these kind of reasonings also. That it is a secret. That's why it is said in the, such a way. That's why Bhagavan did not give a very straightforward uh, statement. Or uh, uh, that it, it is difficult to understand. That's why he is repeating in so many ways. All that is improper. Karmani eva adhikara ste chitra his putatara uktaha arthaha na punha vaktavyo bhavati. And it has been said that you have adhikara in karma alone. Not in its phala. Karmani eva adhikaraste na phaleshu kadachana. It was said there. Now you are saying that again it is said the same thing. Nitya karma has no phala. But you have to do it. It was said there. It was very clearly mentioned there. Now na punha vaktavya bhavati. Need not be said again that uh, karma, nitya karma has no phala. So you see it as a karma. Sarvatra cha prashastam bodhavyam cha kartavyam eva. <coughs> Sarvatracha, prashastam bodhavyam cha kartavyam eva. Whatever is praised, praiseworthy, prashastam, whatever is uh, glorified and praiseworthy, that should be known and that should be done. Bodhavyam cha kartavyam eva. What is to be known has to be done. Whatever is praiseworthy should be known and having known that it has to be done. Na nishprayojanam bodhavyam ityuchyate. Now you are saying that this jnana will give moksha. And it is nisprayojana. Nitya karma, jnana will give you moksha and no phala is there. Once you know it, nisprayojana, it has become nisprayojana. Shruti will not give you something nisprayojana. Now, this is mithya jnanam. Nacha mithya jnanam bodhavyam bhavati. This kind of a mithya jnana, false knowledge that karma is a karma, a karma is karma, gauna vritti let it be, that kind of mithya jnana, Bodhavyam na bhavati. It, it should not be known. What is its phala? Nothing. Tat pratyupasthapitam va vastvabhasam. And nacha mithya jnanam bodhavyam bhavati tat pratyupasthapitam va vastvabhasam. And whatever abhasa is presented by this, that is also useless. 
whatever you are thinking all that is useless so uh, therefore just give me a moment i want to cross check something uh, so बोधव्यवस्थावसम बोधव्यम सो मिथ्या ज्ञान बोधव्यम न भवति तत् प्रत्युपस्थापितम् वस्तुआभासम बोधव्यम वा भवति सो दैट इज़ द वा हियर बोधव्यम शुड गो विथ बोथ सो मिथ्या ज्ञानम इज़ नॉट टू बी नोन व्हाट यू आर सेइंग दैट कर्मा इज़ अ कर्मा कर्मा इज़ कर्मा दैट इज़ मिथ्या ज्ञानम देयर so this mithya jnanam is not something which should be known and whatever is presented by that, what vastu is presented by that, anything that is presented by this, neither is that to be known. So mithya jnanam is what? Here it is indicating uh, uh, the, uh, uh, so vastu is artha bhasa and this is jnana bhasa. So knowledge, mithya jnanam is the knowledge and vastu is what? Whatever if it is really uh, relieving some, sorry, it is revealing some vastu, some object, some karma, then that is, that is also not bodhavyam. So, mithya jnanam uh, bodhavyam na bhavati na tu vastu abhasam. So, uh, in an example that you see uh, the rope as snake, then what is the snake? Snake is the vastu. That vastu that, so that is, that is the karma bhasa and what is jnana bhasa that I see a snake that is jnana bhasa both are erroneous knowledges one is erroneous as snake is erroneous and your knowledge of snake is also erroneous so this mithya jnanam bodhavyam na bhavati and vastava bhasam also is not something that you want you do not want something which is a resultant of false knowledge that's what it means so I see the snake and the snake, both are useless or in the case of uh, silver it is easier. Let's say you see silver in a shell, is that shell, uh, that knowledge that I see silver, you may think it is useful but that uh, I see silver, I want the silver, therefore that silver which is valuable I'll get and thereby I'll become rich or whatever, I'll meet my needs. That you think is useful but it is not really useful that mithya jnana jnana bhasa that i have knowledge of silver i know where to find silver that is useless you think it is useful but if you go there there is no silver there is shell so that karma bhasa that you had that i know the silver i'll get the silver both are useless the silver that you have is a shell it is useless so that is tat pratyupasta pitam vastva bhasam the vastu which is apparent, not real, is useless to you and that knowledge of the vastu is, is useless as well. Both are useless. Napi nityanam akaranat abhavat pratyavaya. Uh, I'll just take two minutes and finish this off. Uh, only this much is left. Uh, three, four minutes, please. So, nacha mithya jnanam bodhyam bhavati tat pratyupasthapitam va vastva bhasam. Napi nityanam akaranat abhavat. Pratyavaya Bhavotpatti, which this we have seen many times, I have mentioned it, that from nothing, something Bhava Rupa cannot come, from Abhava Rupa. And Nitya Ram Akarna, Akarna not doing something is absence of karma. Absence of karma cannot have Pratyavaya Dosha Phala. We have interpreted this earlier, how Advaita sees it, Advaita sees it as Advaita Vedanta sees it as Pratyavaya dosha is not, not something which is a newly, um, newly utpatta papa. It is not something which is nava utpatta prava. It is not something which is born again from absence of karma. It is just that the kavacha is not there. The nitya karma once you do the kavacha which is there, that kavacha is not there for the old papa which is resultant now. So that old papa results but no new, uh, new papa comes in. But that is called as Pratyavaya Dosha. So Bhavotpatti, Pratyavaya Rupa Bhavotpatti Nasti. Why? Nasato Vidyate Bhavahiti Vachanat. Something which is not there. Asataha Bhavahana Vidyate. What is not there can never exist. So there cannot be, uh, what is not there cannot be a cause for something which is existent. So absence cannot be the cause of something which is present. Iti Vachanat. 
कथम असता सज्जायेत एंड बृहदारणक श्रुति सेड वॉट असत सत कथम जायेत बृहद और छांदोग्य आई थिंक दिस शुड बी छांदोग्य पर असत सत कथम जायेत नॉट पॉसिबल फ्रॉम असत सत कैन नॉट बी देर फ्रॉम अभाव रूप भाव रूप नथिंग कैन बी बॉर्न इति च दर्शितम असत सज्जन्म प्रतिषेधा एंड इट इज शोन इन दीज दीज मंत्राज एंड इन दिस श्लोक दैट सज्जन्म प्रतिषेधा देर इज अ निगेशन ऑफ समथिंग भाव रूप एक्सिस्टेंट टू बी बॉर्न फ्रॉम नॉन एक्सिस्टेंट असत सदुत्पत्ति ब्रुवता असदेव सद्भवे सच्चा असद्भवे सैत नाउ इफ यू इंसिस्ट दैट Uh, so bruvata means by one who is saying what is he saying he is saying no sat can come from asat and asat can come from sat so by a, if a person says this insists that so it is a, to puropakshi is saying that if you keep on saying this if it is possible then it is like say uh, asadeva sat bhave satcha api asat bhave ityuktam syat what will amount to saying is sat can be asat asat can be sat So existent means non-existent. Non-existent means uh, existent. This kind of a nonsensical conclusion you are you are you are leading to. That kind of a statement you are making. Tachya ayuktam sarva pramana virodhat. That is not possible. Nobody says existence and non-existence are same, and nobody says that there is no vyavastha. For example, uh, something is not there in front of you. Suddenly something comes in from nowhere. and something is which is present it suddenly vanishes not possible so suddenly uh, you get anything and everything from nowhere and then whatever you had vanishes who wants this no ishtapatti is also there it is pramana virodha sarva pramana virodha so tachcha ayukta sarva pramana virodha na cha nishphalam vidadhyat karma shastram so kar- shastram is a karm karta here and karma is karma shastram nishphalam karma na vidadhyat and shastra will not give you nishkarma karma nishphala karma the karma which has no result it will not give you dukha swarupatvat why because if you do it doing it is dukha i don't want to do it more dukha it is not giving me any phala more dukha so dukha dukha after dukha and shastra is there but shastra is what shastra has its utpatti as what it is understood as uh, i think hita uh, hita shasana shastram why is it called as shastram shasana shastram it teaches what does it hita shas what is good for you it teaches and dukha is not good for you so how can it be shastra itself hita shasana yat shastram bhavati tad dukha swarupa shastram na bhavati it cannot be uh, shastra at all so karma shastra does not teach any karma which is nishphala because of uh, nishphala karma karma itself is dukkha swarupa nishphala karma is more dukkha swarupa dukkha se cha buddhi purvakataya karyatva anupapatte hai and one who thinks about this dukkha that this karma will give me dukkha it has no phala more dukkha why should i do it karyatva anupapatti one will not indulge in that at all तदकर्णे च नरकपाताभ्युपगमा अनर्थाय एव उभयता अपि कर्णे च कर्णे च शास्त्रं निष्फलं कल्पितं स्यात् यू हैव सीन दिस आईडिया अरियर आल्सो इफ यू डोंट डू इट देन आल्सो दुखा बिकॉज़ इट विल गिव यू नरकपाता सिंस इट इज एक्सेप्टेड दैट यू यू विल गेट मोर दुखा इफ यू डोंट डू नित्य कर्म एंड इफ यू डू नित्य कर्म देयर इज नो फला दुखा सो इन बोथ केसेस देयर इज दुखा उभय पाशरज्जु यू डू इट यू विल गेट दुखा यू डोंट डू इट यू विल गेट दुखा both ways you are so between the devil and the do, deep blue sea anarthaye eva ubhayata api both ways it is only anartha adversity alone karne cha karne cha whether you do or do not do so shastra is what nishphala kalpitam shastra is useless that is what will be imagined kalpitam sya would be imagined if you interpret in this manner then shastra would become useless swapyupagam virodascha and now he says not only that it is contradictory to, to what you accept as as you are in, in your own darshana what do you accept nityam nishphalam karma iti abhyupagamaya moksha phala iti bruvatah first you are saying that nitya karma is has no phala so what is the swa abhyupagam virodha abhyupagam is what you accept what is acceptable and swa is what your own darshana 
सो इन युअर दर्शन वॉट यू एक्सेप्टेड यू एक्सेप्टेड नित्यम कर्म निष्फलम नित्य कर्म इज विदाउट एनी रिजल्ट बट नाउ देर इज अ विरोध वॉट इज अ विरोध इथि अभ्युपगम्य हैविंग एक्सेप्टेड दैट इन युअर ओन दर्शन दैट नित्य कर्म इज निष्फला यू से मोक्ष फलाय दैट विल गिव यू मोक्ष वाय बिकॉज भगवान हेज सेट यू हैव टू जस्टिफाय दैट भगवान हेज सेट दैट इट इज गिविंग मोक्ष इट इज सेंग दैट यू विल गेट मोक्ष फ्रॉम अशुभात अशुभात मोक्ष सो बाय वन हू सेज दिस इति ब्रुवत स्वभ्युपगम स्वाभ्युपगम विरोधश्च इट इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी इन इन युअर केस यू से दैट माय दर्शन सेज देर इज नो रिजल्ट टू प्रत नित्य कर्म बट भगवान इज सेंग नोइंग दिस इट विल गिव यू मोक्ष फ्रॉम अशुभ तस्मा यतश्रुत एवर्थ कर्मण्य कर्म येत इत्यादि इत्यादे सो देर इज एज वी हैव डिस्क्राइब यथाश्रुत हाउ वी हैव टॉट दैट इज दी दैट इज दी ओनली वे इट कैन बी इंटरप्रेट तस्मा यथ ओनली दिस वे इट विल वर्क तथा च व्याख्यात अस्मा श्लोक सो हाउ वी हैव हर्ड इट इन दि संप्रदाय कर्मणी कर अकर्म यदि एंड हाउ दिस श्लोका इज हर्ड यू के नॉट से मिथ्या ज्ञान द वे इट एज हर्ड दैट इज हाउ इट इज इन दि श्लोक हाउ भगवान कृष्णा हेज थॉट दैट इज हाउ इट इज इट इज नॉट एनिथिंग एल्स एंड सिमिलरली वी हैव कॉमेंटेड ऑन इट तथा व्याख्या वी हैव नॉट चेंज इ मीनिंग वी हैव नॉट से गौण वृत्ति इत्यादि मुख्य वृत्ति ओनली इड वी हैव नॉट मुख्य वृत्ति अलोन इट इज एज हर्ड एंड तथा व्याख्या अस्मा श्लोक and that is how it has been commented upon by us advaitins so this is the shloka we'll see we'll see 19 there was a request for 19 also we'll see 19 which is only two lines we'll we'll continue our shlokas and uh, sangati bhashya in the next part ha sorry i took 10 minutes more om shanti 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 any questions नमस्ते